Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do click that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the readings here. Um, this is a Virgo channel, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and you don't have to be a Virgo to watch. Um, also, keep in mind some of the messages may, may or may not resonate, so take what fits, leave the rest. And all right, Virgo, let's get into this. There's also a link below this video if you want to get a personal reading. And if there's an extended um, extended reading to this reading, I will let you know. The link will be in the description box. All right. Whew. All right, let's get into this. Hi, everybody in the chat. All my wonderful, awesome people. Hope you're all doing well. Okay, three cards flipped out. You have the butterfly, not today and wedding rings okay interesting so there's a relationship here that's evolving to the next phase possibly even marriage okay um there's some growth union wedding soul connection long term but there's also this energy of like maybe there's two people arguing or fighting or not talking to each other right now okay um hmm so there's like a blip on the radar is what I feel is going on here. There's a phone call that's probably going to be made. I feel like yesterday there was a phone call. Um, somebody either expressing to you that they want to get married or they want to take this relationship to the next level. Um, there's definitely an evolving, but I feel like somebody's like, I don't want to talk to you right now. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Three of, three of swords, you broke my heart. There was another person, you said some nasty things. There was a conversation and it turned into an argument or a third party involvement, or there's a divorce. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm just like, everything's fine and then I'm coughing out of nowhere. Um, yeah, so Virgo, it just feels like to me, I don't know if this is like somebody that, you know, you wanted to marry or somebody that you wanted to be in some type of a connection with. And this Three of Swords on this Not Today card, somebody is still angry. Is it you? Is it another person? I'm not sure. But it's like, I'm not talking to you. You're not talking to me. Nobody's communicating. All right, let's take a look at the past energy and see what's going on here. Okay, so the Two of Cups. Two people came together, um, made a connection, mutual love connection, very beautiful, seeing eye to eye in the past. Soulmate, definitely love. Um, a spark, that's what I'm hearing. Look, look at the glass. See how there's like a spark yeah, a spark was made in the past with somebody. Okay, Virgo. Um, now, for some of you, maybe it was with a Pisces. Um, could have been a Cancer. Could be a Cancer. You could be connecting with this person right now. Could have been a Scorpio. Water energy for sure. Okay. So let me see what the present. Okay. Yeah, four of swords. So there's like no communication right now. This is like withdrawal. Somebody's sleeping on the couch. Somebody that's a sleeper. There's like no communication. Retreat, rest, solitude, recovery. Two people are not talking to each other right now. Okay. But I want to marry you. But I want things to change. And I want like there could be a message being left or a voicemail. Or somebody wants, you know, let's, I want to try to make this work, get back together. And another person's like, no, you broke your promise or you cheated or, you know, I don't want to talk to you right now. And that's what I kind of, I don't feel like everything's off the table. I just kind of get a sense. It's like, go away. Like, just leave me alone. I need to be in my space. Somebody's like, I need to be alone. I need to be in my space. Don't, shoe fly, don't bother me. It's kind of that energy. All right, let me see. Let's take a look and see what's the block here because we do have the three of swords and I feel like that's the overall message okay what's the block clarity communication and truth the and the block is like I'm blocking communication somebody's blocking communication somebody does not want to talk right now now this reading is definitely going to be from the time that you're listening to this through December or through January 2023 okay Somebody's got the phone off the hook. 
or has blocked phone numbers or has blocked any way for another person to get a hold of another person, okay? And it's like, it's just anger. I feel like somebody's PO'd, pissed off about something, about a, th about a three of swords, about a, 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 an argument, a breakup, or somebody interfering in a relationship. It doesn't have to be infidelity. It could be friends or family member or some gossip or some words or things that were said, okay? So in the midst of some type of connection here that, and remember, this kind of feels like a predictive thing, in the midst of some type of connection here that's going well, where a connection was made and a spark was made, two people are not talking, point blank period. Two people are just like arguing. They're not, they're separated, okay. What's the root of this problem here? Okay, could be a divorce or someone was being self-righteous or somebody was, you know, maybe gave a little bit too much truth. Somebody was being fair when they should have sided with another person also, okay? And somebody maybe feels that way, okay? And there might maybe an argument or somebody chose another person that somebody couldn't be fair. They had to make a decision about something, okay? Libra energy here. Let me see. Give me a clarifying card here. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. A very immature decision was made. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Somebody chose another person. That's what I feel like it is. So they chose sides. Or they sided with another person. And, um... It's kind of like there was maybe you and another and whomever your significant other, another person, and then a third person. And you, maybe you expected your person to stick with you or stay with you or side with you, and they chose somebody else, or they sided with another person. All right, so there's an a feeling of disloyalty or a feeling of betrayal. This is also a three. Okay, three of pentacles. The communication between three people is really what I feel like. Okay, and it wasn't fair. It feels like it wasn't fair, and but it also feels like, yes, I, you know, some of you have got plans made with somebody or, you know, something was just moving along and then there was this thing that happened. Is it over? Is it done? I don't feel like that. I just feel like this is like, not going well right now. And I do feel like one person wants to give truth and clear the air to another person, but they can't because somebody's got somebody blocked or they are not returning calls um, or they're not picking up the phone or they are just in silent mode and they don't want to talk. And if somebody doesn't want to talk, well, they're that you can't, like, what do you pry them open, their mouth open? You Like, what, what can somebody do? If somebody doesn't want to talk, then they don't want to talk. Um, let me take a look. What are the possibilities here? Okay. Four of Cups. Hmm. Well, the possibility for this situation is that I feel like somebody is just feeling completely unfulfilled. It, and really just is has other options. They have to figure out what they're going to do. The possibility is they might just look at all the options also to figure out what else can be done. Because I, I don't know that somebody is sorry about something, but I do feel like somebody wants to explain what happened or why something happened the way it did why someone chose another person or sided with another person, or if there was infidelity or cheating, why it went that way, like why the betrayal, okay? Um, but I also feel like somebody's gonna surprise another person with this Four of Cups. This feels like a surprise gift as well. I don't know really what that means, but it feels like a desperate attempt to give some kind of surprise gift or actually for some wedding ring. Um, for some of you, this could be two people who had plans to, you know, 
move a relationship, both an agreement to, to move a relationship into matrimony or uh, some kind of soul union, sacred union, and somehow something got interrupted. Um, I just feel that somebody's giving another person a gift. And since we have wedding rings here, it could be that, like an engagement ring or a wedding ring is it's being given to another person where it's like, this is what another person has to do. Okay. This is what another person has to do, right? To make something, it, there might've already been an engagement and then there was this problem and then things just, you separated, there was a separation and now somebody's like, no, we're going, we're going to go through with this. I'm not exactly sure because it's not that I'm not sure. It's just that I have so many messages right now coming in about this that I don't even know, like I could sit just in this one particular one message and just go off on that. And I just can't, I have to keep it moving here, this reading. So yeah, um, I feel like there's another person here who's going to make do or make it up to another person for something that happened, or at least try, try to make something up, that kind of energy here. Let me see what direction this relationship is headed. Okay, Eight of Cups, wow. And Six of Pentacles. Well, Virgo, it feels like the overall, there's going to be um, a trip. I'm seeing a trip, okay. And maybe even a trip with the kids. I also heard that, trip with the kids. But I'm also hearing, or paying, if there's children, uh, paying a, a sitter and go and going a getaway. Um, there might be like, um, for some of you, a holiday romance um, where there's an engagement that happens or something along those lines, a proposal of some sort, okay? Um, yeah, I kind of feel like that's really strong. If there's no children involved in this situation, um, I feel like there's, okay, they're just giving me, I don't know how to explain this, but it feels like, okay, they just gave me a Christmas carol. What the heck? A Christmas village or a snowy area where two people may be going skiing or going to a snowy lodge. I'm just picking up an energy. This relationship is heading towards, there's a trip, right? Go And, and so I know. I feel like when we're asking where the where the relationship's going, I mean, I feel like I've already stated that, the direction that this is going. But I am seeing in the near future a trip where this energy might happen. Um, somebody is paying for something. To go somewhere. Okay. And I also feel like... Um, I don't know why I kept picking up this Christmas carol. Maybe there's a, there's a scene. There's a change. There's somebody. Yeah, change. That's what the Six of Pentacles is. There's exchange, but it's also, there's a change happening here. Somebody's actually going to go the distance in this relationship. Maybe that's you. Maybe it's another person. But it is definitely going like around the holidays for sure. Somebody's coming in with like a huge gift, um, a huge offer to fix something or make something right. And it's like to show you um, they're going to go into a store and pay for this thing, maybe while they're there or just they're paying for it and then take you on a trip or, or they go on a trip with you. And somebody here, you know, says, hey, you know, hands that hands that ring and it's like here you know I don't know if it's actually a marriage proposal or somebody just hands the ring and it's like you know a promise ring maybe or something like I mean if it's a ring like this holy but it's like something big 
yeah, look, there's a four of wands. I mean, that's marriage. That's commitment. That's long term. This is the energy that's playing out, okay? This is the energy that's playing out in the direction that I feel like it's going. Okay, how are you viewing this situation right now? Okay, <laughs> you're viewing this person as a cheater. You're viewing that they're sneaky or that they're they're deceptive or that they're, you know, they're strategizing and they're, you know, kind of a, I don't know if it's um, just deceptive. You're viewing this situation as like you can't trust it and somebody's a juggler or they cheat. The two of pentacles that's always for me like someone who's juggling a lot of people and trying to keep their balls up in the air or, you know or they have a lot of balls and trying to keep their balls up in the air right they're trying to keep things balanced and maintain the show and uh, they're deceptive behind the scene i'm not saying that's what this person's doing i feel like in the position of how you're viewing the situation that's what you're seeing that's how you feel this is why you're really not talking to this person you don't know what to make of it one minute you're like, oh, but I love them. But then the next minute it's like, oh, but now this thing happened or this thing happens, you know? Like I said, for some of you, if you know it's, a, I'm not predicting infidelity, but I do see interference. It could be from a place, could be from a thing, could be from family members, friends, work colleagues. Something splits you two apart temporarily. Okay, temporarily. And there's this, don't call me, don't reach out to me, I don't want to talk right now. Um, I don't know if you ghost or if they ghost, whatever the energy is, yeah. And I just feel like right now you're viewing the whole situation as like, nah, nope, Seven of Swords is there. Yeah, I'm not dealing with this dishonest, betraying son of a bee or whatever the heck they are. Like, it's just, no. Now let me see how this person is viewing this situation. Oh, you're a wish come true from them for them. Nine of Cups. I know you can't see it here, but yeah, you're a wish come true for this person. The whole situation, everything they've ever wanted. I know. And you're like, yeah, but why did they well, I don't know why. I just feel like you're viewing the situation as like deceitful and they're viewing it as like, no, no, this is like I want this. I want you. I want this reunion. I want to connect with you. Here's another three. I want to celebrate us. I want to be your your support. I want to be your, you know, I want to be a lover. Do, do, do. Okay? So, wow. I mean, you think you can just give me a ring and that's going to make everything better? Well, for some, yeah. For some of you, yeah, this is what you've been wanting. This may be what an argument was about. Maybe that was the argument. Maybe somebody was like, it was a choice between you and another person and they choose somebody else. And it's like, okay, but now I don't know. I don't feel like, or they sided or there was an, oh gosh, it's so complicated. I don't know if they chose another person, but even if they did choose another person, um, I feel like they made a mistake and does that make everything right no because they're definitely this person knows that there was definitely a connection a spark here between you and this person and they might not have been ready or they just whatever I don't know let me just see let me just I gotta look what is this why is this person coming back yeah right nine of cups right there your wish come true from them but like what the heck Oh, okay. King of Pentacles. Yeah. They stabilized their toxic behavior. The devil, right there. They've stabilized their toxic behavior. Their decisions. Okay, that's it. They screwed up big time. They made a big mistake. Yeah, they messed up big time. And you're at, you, that's like um, point blank period. They screwed up. They made a huge, they made a bad choice. Are they a bad person? Not necessarily. Maybe they were drinking. Maybe they were out of their mind. Maybe they were immature. Maybe they just weren't ready. Whatever the case may be. Yeah. They weren't ready for the whole kit and caboodle. And they screwed up. Or they got cold feet. Or they thought they were just going to have one last hurrah. 
you know, um, with an ex or with somebody else and <clears throat> didn't work out. Okay. So position of hopes and fears, the wheel of year, wheel of fortune. So, you know, I feel like both of you hope that this situation is going to change, um, for the better and will be in like this person hopes it'll be in their favor that you'll say yes or you'll accept the gift that they're you know going to offer and you might also be hoping that they'll accept the gift that you're going to offer okay um but the fear is that things will shift and change and universe will conspire and say nope you two are going your separate ways and this isn't meant to be right there's a great fear about that there's a fear that um this was be a bad choice or that you know you get stuck in something or two people will get stuck in something that maybe they really don't want to be in or get stuck in this third three of sword energy or this three of pentacles energy or this three of cups energy get stuck in a third party kind of thing or that it will turn out bad that would be bad luck there's a fear of that you know okay things that things might get out of control or out of hand you know um let me see what the outcome is here or where the energy overall is heading. Okay, karma. Wow. Um, so that's judgment, you guys. And so there's a final decision that will be made. Absolutely. Clarity, a wake up call and a life, life purpose decision is going to get made here. The outset, like the, um, the outcome where the energy is heading a final decision will get made this is the ending well right after judgment is the world and that's where that card is like we've completed this goal this lesson we, it's ending uh, the chapter is over and get to the new chapter but i don't have the world here for you just have judgment so judgment is like knowing what to do you're going to know what to do Okay, by like the middle of January or this person and both of you are going to know what to do. Yep, two of swords, a decision will get made for sure. Um, maybe even a compromise and working things out. Okay, maybe, it's a maybe. Oh my gosh another decision card the lovers these are three decision cards you guys and i guess it's that they don't want you to know what the decision is going to be here i mean you can't with the judgment is a final decision the two of swords is make a decision the lovers is a, is a decision another ch a choice okay you guys so is it that you're both going to choose each other? Is it that you're both going to decide to come together in this love partnership, this union? Is that going to happen? Because I feel like it just very well may. There may be forgiveness. You know, the judgment card is like when we get to the pearly gates, you know, forgive my sins, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I feel like that's definitely going to be playing out, you know, but it could, it could also be a decision to block the lover and just say no, right? I mean, if I tell you what's going to happen, will that affect your decision? Maybe. I feel like that's not a, it's not my business. You have to make this decision, you know, the outcome. You have to make this decision. I don't think I'm going to go into an extended, but yeah. Actually, yeah, I am. I am. Because I want to see, like, what is the best path for you in the extended reading and I want to see like what will come out of this person there um like for both of you okay like all the way through for like at least the following year okay going forward so the link will be in the description box so definitely check out the link um to get the um extended reading I just want to see what the messages of love are here okay what are the messages of love for Virgo? Okay. Oh, my God. Twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. 
Virgo, you can't make this up. Like this, of all the cards that I shuffle, that popped right out. I mean, I feel like you had twin soul yesterday, or soul flame. So is this, this is a, this is like, man, I don't want to talk to you, but I do love you. And you've really pissed me off and I don't know if I can trust you. And there's so much drama and why did you do that? But I don't want to talk to you. I am angry. You know, um, and Virgo, this could be reversed. This, you know, this could be your person feeling this way as well. Or maybe you both did something to each other. Okay. Um, I don't know because I'm talking to a whole bunch of people, but I feel like if I hit on something that's for you, then it's for you. And if it's not, you know, you don't need to tell me that you didn't do anything because that we're not here to talk about what you didn't do. We're here to talk about what somebody did do. Okay. So this is a twin flame thing. Yeah, rejecting the twin flame. There was a rejection. Wow, Virgo. Either a twin flame rejected you or you rejected a twin flame. Because it's like, oh, I can't deal with this twin flame. I'm not, I'm not fortified. I don't have what it takes to deal with this. Right? But you do. You have the mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. You have mastered the art of the twin flame. You know all about the twin flame. How could you not know after all this time you've been listening to these tower readings, not just me, but the other thousands of readers on here and talk about the twin flame. It is not a relationship for the faint of heart. If you want to be in your twin flame relationship, you're going to be called to arms to fight on the front lines of a relationship and not give up no matter how, because people don't want to do, they want the soulmate. They want the how it is in the beginning everybody wants to go back to how it is in the beginning oh it was so sweet and the person was so attentive and the person was so you know uh, it was so easy and um we went out a lot and we did things you know and then things changed well no not really you just settled into the relationship and maybe it got boring at times or maybe somebody was like talking to other people or some things you know again i say all the time the cap left off of the toothpaste, pissed the hell out of somebody. They had to keep saying it. Toothpaste kept drying up. Couldn't fold it. Couldn't roll it up anymore. Couldn't even squeeze the tube. And it just got very frustrating. And it like built up from there. That might have been the straw that broke the camel's back. Might have been a whole bunch of other stuff. And that damn toilet seat got left up again. Whatever. Whatever it is, Virgo. Whatever it is. Most people don't want it. They want the romance. They want the highs. They want the dopamine hit of the relationship and you're fooling yourself. If somebody's fooling themselves as they think everybody like, oh, I want the relationship. But, and I'm like sitting here as your reader, like, hey, it ain't all that cracked up. It is to be. It's just not right. It's great in the beginning. But then, you know, and then you get the other stuff that comes later. And who the hell wants that shit? <laughs> but it's like, when do you stop? When do you say, you know what? toothpaste cap, toilet seat, pain in the butt, gets on my nerves, love you anyway, not going anywhere, you really pissed me off, you, you really crossed the line this time, you really did something that I don't know if I can forgive you for this, I mean, if you can't, if you can't Virgo and you're done, don't be coming to these tower readings trying to find out what your person's doing because you're done, remember? Get boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. If you're still coming to these readings and you're all like, why does my person keep showing up in my reading? I'm done with them. Well, who the hell said it was your person? You said that. You said that was your person. I didn't say anybody's name. Not yet. I didn't say, I'm not, I don't know who you are. I'm not telling you it's your person. You said that, which tells me you're still here listening for your person. So you do want to be with this person. You do love this person. This is your twin, twin flame. But you want that new love. See, you want that how it was in the beginning. And that person was so supportive and everything was great. But then that person turned into a pain in the butt, a thorn in the side. You wanted them to just fall off a cliff. You're right. Right. That's that's twin flame right there. That's two people who are like looking at each other like, you know what? I hate you. <laughs> But I love you just as much. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. So 
So yeah, you were somebody. All right, and I don't. I'm, please accept my apology. I don't mean to just sit, pin it on you. I'm not specifically. I'm just saying you, but it could be the other person as well, or both of you. All right? Twin flames are not for the faint of heart. Not at all. Not at all. And sometimes when people are like, oh, this isn't my twin flame, um, because they, they're not getting along. Some people say, well, we're not getting along, so it must not be my twin flame. No, it is your twin flame if you're not getting along. If you are getting along, it's your soulmate. And things are just simple and easy. <laughs> I don't blame you if you want a soulmate. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. This came up the other day. No, was it was yesterday. And it still rings true for me that you need to look at any red flags you have. You need to start focusing inward. Everybody has red flags. You are not squeaky clean. I am not squeaky clean. Nobody is. Everybody has red flags. Everybody's got something. Bring your red flags down because you're waving your freak flag up there so high for everybody to see all the effing time. You're like a walking around the town or you're meeting other people and you got your big red flag like tied to the back of your little bike and you just hey everybody look at me look at me i'm a walking red flag here like virgo and virgo's cross watcher if you're listening lower that flag you need to lower them red flags and stop making a spectacle of yourself with these red flags okay right and some kind of like chinese army march or something you have going on here like uh yeah you're, 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 you need to start paying attention to your own because you know what? And that doesn't mean, I don't say that in a, a harsh way. I don't mean it like that. I'm just trying to say that like everybody's out there pointing the fingers at everybody else's red flags. But there, you know, every time you're pointing, you got three fingers pointing back at you. So what about you? What about you? I was going to go in the extended. I'm not going to go into it. Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah, I'm not going to go into it because I feel like I feel like it really did just kind of resolve itself. That there is going to be a choice to be together. The lovers card right there is always my twin flame. Okay, so for those of you who at least got this far, and you're like, yo, let me go over and click on the extended. Oh, no, we're going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. Okay, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, Virgo. And free yourself. Okay. Also have make the effort. So I feel like um, for some of you, you need to free yourself from um, this anger or bitterness. Or if, you have, if you're jaded or you're angry, free yourself from that energy, right? Because that's just a cancer that's going to kill you. The other person's going to be perfectly fine because they can't feel your wrath. They don't feel it. You feel it more than anybody feels it, right? Your, your, your anger and resentment is a poison that will eat you up inside. Everybody else sleeps just fine. They sleep like a baby at night and you're seething with anger at night and you're plotting revenge or you want to get back at someone because you're angry you're mad or you feel betrayed and that's fine that's how you feel you can acknowledge your feelings but also try to get into a place of forgiveness too because again it's very bad for your health your anxiety and your stress levels go up your cortisol goes up yeah it's real bad or you got to take that anger and channel it go take a walk outside or go you know swim or pound some weights do something I feel like I'm always talking about the gym and the weights because that's like therapy. I really feel like that's, I say all the time, there has to be a spiritual, you, you need to be in the spiritual gym, the mental gym, a spiritual gym right here, the mental gym, the physical gym, and I don't think there should be an emotional gym. <laughs> I think the emotions are fleeting. I don't think they need to be worked. I think the emotions come and we sit and we, we say hello to them. We acknowledge each one has a name. We say hello. We say, oh, hi there. Hi, sadness. How are you today? And thank you for coming in. You can stay for five minutes and then you need to go. Right? Oh, hello, happiness. You can stay all day because I like you. Right? And then let them do their business and then move on. Right? So I kind of feel like for you, Virgo, the effort you need to make is to, re to free yourself from something that somebody might have done to you or you feel that somebody betrayed you or said something 
okay? And do that for yourself because you need to stay optimistic about your love life. If you stay angry, if you don't look at your red, maybe one of your red flags is anger or a reactionary, reactive anger. But if you, if you don't, if you don't stay optimistic about your love life and you stay angry and you don't stay in a positive mindset as or try to get into that each day um, without dishonoring your feelings, right? You don't want to go, okay, I'm feeling really sad and I'm really angry and I'm hurt right now, but I'm going to be positive all day. That's bullshit. That's being fake. The positive mindset is not to be a band-aid to cover up your emotions. The positive mindset is, you know, I'm feeling this way right now. I'm not going to let it destroy me. I'm going to feel my feelings. I'm going to accept and honor them. And then I'm going to let them pass and just do my best to stay positive in the sense that they're not going to kill me. They're not going to eat me up. They're not going to eat me away. Okay. And I'm not going to have to stay like this long. We're not trying to be out here like floating around like gypsies with flowers and being cool and saying all the right things. Like if you're upset, be upset. If you're angry, be angry. If you're happy, be happy. Feel that emotion and don't be inauthentic with anybody or even yourself. If somebody like you're walking through the living room of your house, so you walk through a restaurant and you got the fake smile. It's not a Duchesne smile. It's a fake smile. And people know, people can tell when other people are just being fake, right? So why do that? It's because they know anyway. So, but it's nobody's business how you're feeling. So just be you. Just tell yourself, you know, this is what's going on with me. And I'm okay with it. I'm fine with it. And I'm going to be fine with it. I'll, I'll acknowledge it. The sooner you acknowledge and accept your feelings, the sooner they release that's just it if you hide them bury them under fake smiles and being inauthentic and pretending that oh everybody be positive everybody be positive it's such a load of crap no 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 <laughs> sometimes you got to put your game face on um if you're at work because you want to break down or you don't want to be upset or anger you got to control your emotions yeah but that doesn't mean you got to go like have these two little birdies holding up the corners of your mouth everywhere you go and looking like the joker like Ooh, why are you so serious? You don't know. No, I don't like stop that. <laughs> I don't know where this is coming from. I really don't. Okay. Year of the rabbit. Year of the dog. Year of the dragon. Year of the rat. Year of the rat again. Year of the pig. Year of the horse. Year of the monkey. And dragon again. And year of the rooster, okay? So if that's you, so be it. If it's your person, so be it. If it's both of you or none of you, it is what it is, okay? Um, let me see now. My moon pie deck is calling me. My moon pie deck is calling me. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, and also, okay, they just said pull a couple of cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle. All right, let me see. I'm just going to pull two. We will be together again because so many things remind me of you. And I can't stop thinking about you. I just can't stop thinking about you. You all I need in my life. You want me to be your wife. I just can't stop thinking about you. I know I love you so much. Um, this is not going to be going on for too much longer. Okay, let me see. Still undecided. See, there's a little bit of that energy here. If somebody's undecided, like, okay. Because right now it feels like <clears throat> somebody just wants to wring someone's neck, you know. I don't know if I want to take that phone call. I don't know why I want to talk to this person. I don't know. I am still really angry. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. And it will come to an end. And... Yeah, somebody's waiting for an answer, and yeah, you might get a, you might get an offer, you might give an offer, and there might be somebody's undecided, or you might be waiting for the answer, or, you know, are waiting for a call back or something along those lines. Okay, so uh, yeah, you got you got some stuff. Okay, girls' night out, maybe go spend some time with your friends. There is a transition. The end of suffering is coming. Out with the old, in with the new. No one said this would be easy or has been. The season is life. 
The season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new hemisphere. Allow things to happen and go with the flow. Now it's time for change, okay? So that's the world. That's just kind of completing a goal or a lesson. Learning the lesson could be travel or just coming to an end and starting over and moving to a safer place in the relationship. And how's it going to come about? Well, I feel like somebody's going to come down and really make this offer. And then there's going to be some kind of communication because we saw the ace of swords there is going to be a communication somebody wants to talk initiate communication and there and give truth and clarity and just because somebody blocks it doesn't mean it won't happen i do feel like it will happen i do feel like there will be communication clarity and understanding when someone is ready to talk okay when someone is ready to talk how long did i go because i feel like Hold on, you guys. Oh, that's 42 minutes. It's pretty much a long time. Um, let me just get a couple of charms, and then I'm going to get going. And I'll be back tomorrow to do your weekend reading. So do check in tomorrow, same time, same bat time, same bat channel. Okay, you have an octopus here. Wow, look at all those tentacles. Um, there's a connection to an octopus. You know, octopi, they are so... They can get in and out of places, in and out under rocks, in the sand. They're just, they go, go down, they can go down deep into very tiny holes. Um, that feels very sexual. <laughs> that feels very sexual. Tentacles, um, very phallus symbols, a whole bunch of them. I feel like somebody's really like wanting to, you know, get their tentacles somewhere. Um, either that's you or that's another person, but like suction cups can't get their, <laughs> I'm a 12 year old. I've admitted it here on this channel. I act like a 12 year old. Whenever I mention this stuff, I giggle like a child and I'm not even like that at all, but I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't know. Weirdo. Um, tentacle stuff here. Okay. Yeah. Definitely wanting to get, somebody wants to get their their digits, their fingers, their arms wrapped around another person. We also have a musical instrument, a four, four, six string musical instrument. So maybe somebody plays a musical instrument. There's a connection to that, connection to a musical instrument. I'm also feeling like the bass vibes, vibes, the feeling, the vibes. Okay, we also have a shamrock. Um, I'm sorry, a four leaf clover. So there's a connection to maybe somebody's Irish or um, somebody's going to get lucky <laughs> or somebody's getting lucky despite an argument, okay? Um, or a connection, like I said, to um, the Emerald Isle. Oh, we also have love, okay? Maybe there's candy hearts or some candy being given or somebody's button munching on some old Valentine's chocolates that have that like white... Uh, feathery discoloration because they found it in a box in a closet that was from three years ago for, that they got for Valentine's Day and somebody's crying and just really eating chocolate and just doesn't care. They don't pick it up off the ground, grab it out of the trash, do a little George Costanza. It was just on the top. It's fine. I'm just going to have a little. It's not a big deal. It wasn't buried down with the rest of the trash. It was right on the top. So it's okay. You know, a little, little eclair. But, you know, uh, something's going on here with this love candy. Or this I just feel like it's a box of chocolate. Um, a little Forrest Gump energy there, too. So run like hell and just keep running. And then finally, when you're done running, um, you could just turn around and just go back. Some of you just need to, like, get out and run. Or just get out and, and, and just go. Just go. You just need to go the distance and keep going until you can't go anymore. Okay. You know, I have only had one cup of coffee today. That's all I've had. Um, so I don't know why I'm so hyped up, but I truly am. And I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'm, I don't know, bipolar. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm actually not, but I don't know. So I think I'm going to leave your reading there, you guys. And um, so, yeah, the uh, this Thursday, the 15th, will be the weekend. 
Okay, we're going to do the weekend reading. And then as per usual, I know I haven't been here, but Sunday I'll be back with your singles reading. So definitely check that out. If you're new to my channel, I am here Sunday through Thursday. That That's the general schedule. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. But I'm here Sunday through Thursday. Next week is the week before Christmas. So we're going to do a lot of kind of Christmas magical special tower readings. Um, I think I will be using my Nightmare for Christmas deck. So we'll be all up in the Christmas deck next week. And also we have the new moon on December 23rd. So I think next Thursday, the 22nd, I will give you your new moon reading. Um, it won't be the weekend because that's Christmas. Um, but I will not be here, you guys, um, after the 22nd, as I will be on Christmas vacation, um, going until, I do have a couple of readings during the week, but going until tentatively January 6th. Um, I don't plan to be doing readings, but, but that is a really long time, and I really can't see me being away from you guys all that long. I used to do that in the past, but I don't know. I don't think I can do it. So I'm going to figure something out while I'm on vacation. All right, you guys. So that's a couple of weeks away. So I will see you all back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day, evening, day. And uh, yeah, I love you. I'll see you later. Bye.